Hello everybody, this is Shadigo. Try to be told this is actually the third time I'm actually recording this. And hopefully the audio and stuff will get synced up when I sort this out. Uh, anyway, this is uh, Star Fox, or Starwing for the Super Nintendo. Uh, one thing you'll notice uh, once we get to the title screen. Uh, aside from the fact that I don't have any audio playing, so oh well. Uh, probably the way I'm recording this. I'm just wondering out, out loud. Uh, yeah, I'm using Star Fox, the uh, US version of the game. Uh, it was called Star Fox in the US and Japan, but for some reason in Europe was changed to Starwing. I think it was a copyright or a license issue. Uh, it also affected uh, Star Fox 64 uh, for the N64, uh, and that got renamed to Lyle Wars. But every other game after uh, that, like Star Fox Adventures, Star Fox Assault, Star Fox Command, uh, has got the uh, Star Fox moniker on it. Uh, even the remake for. 3DS for Lilac Wars is called Star Fox 64. I uh, don't know if they changed it for the Virtual Console uh, because yeah, I don't uh, really go on the Wii Shop that often. Nor do I own that game on the Virtual Console. Anyway, uh, we're at the controls here. I've been there for quite a while. Uh, A and B. The only difference is that A and B have inverted flying controls, which means if you press up, you're going to fly downwards. If you press downwards, you're going to fly upwards. Uh, and A and B also have different controls in that the uh, button for the blaster and the button for the brake button is switched. Uh, C and D are the same as A and B, only your uh, flight's uh, the right way around. In, that, in other words, you press up, you go up. Um, I prefer control C because of this. You basically just control scheme A without the uh, inverted controls. Um, training mode there is just you flying through a bunch of rings like you're, super, like you're in Superman 64 or something. Anyway, here's the map. We have three routes. Route 1, Route 2, and Route 3. I was originally going to do Route 1 and 2 on the console. Uh, Probably, probably better explain that now. Oh, as we start Route 1. Um, I don't know where my copy of Starwing went. Uh, I had to tidy my room and my copy of Starwing has gone missing. Uh, also, since Jet Set Radio, I've still got my Dreamcast plugged into the uh, back of the DVD, the DVD recorder. Um, it's probably also, it's probably a good thing that I'm doing this via emulator now, uh, since I can pretty much get on with recording Resident Evil 2. But surely, uh, so anyway, we start off with uh, this level here, Carnary. <laughs> Uh, when you start to this level, Slippy will come by and will fly through some arches. Uh, you fly through them with him, and then fly through the next one. After that, uh, you can get a nice little uh, power up, which is really useful because it's actually pretty rare in this game. Right there, and that was worth the hit because we get a double black. We get the double laser. Uh, it's an upgrade to the standard laser. And well, you get just get a second laser. Uh, if you ever have a wing break when you have the double laser, uh, you back to the single laser. And if you pick up a, if you pick up the double laser power up when you have a broken wing, it fixes your plane instead. It fixes your wing instead. Oh, sorry, Peppy. I knew you was after that. I'm not actually after this. After that, too much Anyway, this game was made by Argonaut. Oh, don't want to break my wing now. Uh, this game was originally made by Argonaut in 1994. 
They're probably more famous now for the crap games. And a few other games. I believe have they, have they, have they gone defunct now because I've not really heard from them for a long while. Uh, but they, did, they did make some decent games. I, mean, I, ne I never played crap, but I heard it was actually pretty good. They also made this, they also made the innovation to make this game happen, um, the Super FX chip. Which, from what I remember, from what little knowledge I know of, uh, only a few games actually made use of it, uh, aside from this. Uh, the only ones I remember off the top of my head are Stunt Race FX, which was basically a lot like this, only with vehicles. And no shooting. And you did the uh, crazy stunts and stuff. And I remember Yoshi's Island also used it. In certain parts. I'll pretty much tell you the part that it is. It was in like castles where it's like had like little things coming out, uh, like little cogs and stuff. Anyway, we're, we're at the boss here. Uh, if you remember this guy, he's the little attack carrier you saw at the intro. Uh, if, you get, if you have the, top, the double laser part up this guy's cake, he shouldn't really get an attack in whatsoever. So there's the left hand side, plug him with lasers, he shouldn't attack with that side. If he does, he's going to send a fighter at you that's going to shoot missiles at you. Uh, then he'll do the, the uh, right hand side, which will shoot missiles at you directly. Once you shut both of those down, he'll try to kill you with the uh, plasma balls and. Well, he'll just run around and you just plug him in and he shouldn't really get any much damage in, but I kind of. a bit rubbish at this game. Uh, but truth be told, I'm generally rubbish at any shooting game, it's just that uh, the Star Fox series I'm generally really good at. In uh, comparison, uh, even though the only other Star Fox game I've actually played, aside from this game, is Star Fox Assault. I only got 97% again. Ding dang it. Uh, about the point system, it's you get a percentage and you get that times like, like uh, 100 points. Uh, you either get 100%, or uh, you get 100,000 points. And if you want continues, then you'll want to score 100,000 points, 300,000 points, and 500,000 points. Uh, 500,000 points and getting a continue is impossible in the first in route one and route two, simply because there's not that many levels. Get it? You can get it in route three, and by God, you probably need it. Excuse me. Uh, but anyway, in the uh, next video, if this video actually decides to work, I will be finally be doing the Asteroid Belt. Um, you'll probably notice that my score might be a bit, bit different because it's from the original recording and I'm kind of using save sticks to save between recordings. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching, hope you like it, um, other stuff as well. See y'all later. Ciao!